when a narcissist flips the script and gaslights you to suddenly play the one who was hurt when it was actually you that was the one who was hurt. Does that make sense? When they are flipping the script to get the pity. There's this thing that happens, especially with covert narcissists, where, and especially with the kind that are more um, um, likely to play play for pity, where, or, or with like the mother narcissist, you hear of this a lot, where suddenly, like, you'll be, you'll say something that like, oh, this hurt me when you did X, Y, Z. And they will say, how could you say that to me? I am so offended. I am so hurt. And suddenly you find yourself consoling them instead of them taking accountability or even talking about the thing they did to you. It's this interesting and horribly painful defense mechanism you can watch in play that they use to divert all of the accountability that they should be taking in a situation and deflect it back to you, making you the one doing something that was an offense to them. I've had people say to me, you know, he cheated or she cheated. And I confronted him, I caught him and I said, hey, you know, I was all upset and I was like, how could you do this to me? You did this, you did that. And, 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 and you, you cheated and I, I can't believe this and, you know, freaking out and sad and, you know, the things you might feel in that situation. And the narcissistic person will in a, in, a, in three words or less often flip the script. Well, how, how could, how, how dare you be, be, be stalking me? How, how did you find out? You found out from, from like, looking at my social, looking at my accounts, were you reading my emails? You know, so they'll flip it to where you're doing something against them. I can't trust you. I can't trust you. It's no wonder I do these things or flip the script entirely and start crying. I know I'm a bad person. I'm a terrible person. And then eventually it comes out that I'm a terrible person, but I've been so lonely in this relationship. You, you don't do the things that I need you to, you know, flipping it around to, and, and, and then that person saying, I found myself wrapped around them with my arms around them, holding them and telling them everything would be okay. It's, and these are smart, smart people, right? It is this rapid fire cunning way of flipping things around and gaslighting the heck out of you to where you are apologizing for the thing they did or you're apologizing for yourself and you don't even know why when they're the ones who should be groveling at your feet, <laughs> right? For the horrible things that they're doing. Covert will twist it around so much that that they have the, you know, the whole affect changes and 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 you're they get away with it because they turn your empathy on. Once you are hooked into feeling empathy for them, games on. They are, they are in charge again, and they get away with everything. This topic is a little different in just straight up gaslighting because it is such an obvious thing that they're doing often. You know, I can remember like show up late, have been out with someone else, and suddenly I'm the one consoling you for for what? Right? But when you're doing it, it's it, it feels really real. It feels like, oh my gosh, I did a thing that was so bad. And and please don't leave. Please don't go away. And, and when in fact we we yeah, our, our right mind is going, get the heck out of here, right? And and the reason they're having one. You're the reason they're having the pity party. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have had to go cheat. I mean, my gosh, right? And it's not just cheating. It's all kinds of things. It's not just, I'm just using that because it's an easy example, but it's all kinds of things. A, a narcissistic mother may be super attacking and super critical and very controlling. And suddenly she'll say something like, for everything I do for this family, 
everything I do for this family and this is how I'm treated, you know, and I'm sorry, mom, you know, and it does not instantaneous. It's not like they do the, they, they have this flip reaction. It's almost like they just boom and change scenes on you. And you're thrown into this other scene with the gaslighting. And for a few, for one second, you're stunned going, what the heck? You're the one who, and then a few seconds later, you're locked in cognitive dissonance or you're locked into some, you're just thrown off, you're thrown off balance, right? And you're apologizing to them. And there, and then, and then yet again, they don't have to take accountability for their horrible actions. It comes up in group a lot because we talk through scenarios that have happened, right? And then somebody else will say, wait a minute, that happened to me. And someone else is like, can totally relate over here, right? And when it comes up in the group coaching, people say, I've never heard anyone talk about this. This way that they flip literally shifting scenes to being you having something done to you by them to suddenly you it's not only are they saying um it's you it's not me you're actually consoling them you find yourself fawning consoling taking care of their emotional needs they go so because you know what happens here's what i think happens they shut down and we know the silent treatment is one tick away and we know that when they shut down like that there's going to be no more communication there's going to be it's going to be days of fighting right and so our desperation to make things better we fall right into it and we start fawning we start pleading we start consoling we start caregiving to them in order to stop that shutdown this is the, the trick of gaslighting this is the masterful manipulation of gaslighting is it can make you forget what it was you were thinking, what it was you were feeling, it can make you forget your convictions. If you have any questions or need anything regarding narcissism in any of its, <laughs> right, um, head, head over to queenbeing.com. Again, my name is Lise Colucci, and I am one of the life coaches over at queenbeing.com, working over there with Angie. And if you need any help with anything, I have a group going. Group coaching is fabulous, and it is in the main description of every video, as well as one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching for anything you might need. Um, so hit me up if you need it. It's in the main description. Hit subscribe to this channel and thumbs up and all that good stuff, and I will see you later. Take care.